I've had a subscriber ask about the motor readings when you're looking at a multi-wee board over Bluetooth via multi-wee conf. Now this is one of those questions where it could be answered in text, but it's actually easier for me to make a quick little video like this to show it in effect. So here we are, we're looking at um, the latest quad that I've built. It's a 440 class uh, with 1800 kV uh, motors and our friend the multi-wee version 2.5 running 2.2 of the multi-week code. I'm going to connect in a minute via Bluetooth and we'll run the motors up and what I'll do is I will manipulate the model by hand and while we're doing that on the left hand side of the screen, on the right hand side of the screen I'll actually show the capture of the multi-week conf program in linked and in time to the movements that I'm making. Warning, warning, warning. Uh, I am being a bit daft here by actually holding the model in a room. Um, I'm only doing this because I've, uh, I'm kind of reasonably confident and know what I'm doing. But the suggestion is always please take off the props before you spin motors up on any model, particularly if you're going to be um, indoors. So, that being said, let's power this thing on, let's arm it, let's put the video of this thing on the left the multi-wee on the right and what you'll find is that as I move the model around you'll find it jumps around a lot but even when it's sat on a level desk at the end and the motors are just running it will still twitch so hopefully this will answer the question for that subscriber thanks for watching please comment subscribe and if you need any help I now have my help out channel happy flying